What's up everyone, John from Beyond AR TV, making a video tonight to talk to you about some unfortunate events that have occurred. Well, really one main event, and that is Jeremy Davis leaving the band Paramore. Uh, easily in my top 10 bands in recent years have just really dominated in terms of not only the pop world, but pop rock uh, at the beginning of their career, more of the pop punk and alternative scene, and they've really transformed and managed to grow all while losing two members, the two brothers, uh, Zach and Josh Faro, and then, of course, getting on uh, the new member, Taylor York, who was a touring member, I believe, and kind of got upgraded to full status around the time of Brand New Eyes and the Faro brothers leaving. And then, of course, we got the excellent self-titled record, and it was just an exuberant album that showcased what they could do, even though they were missing some of the parts that made the machine work before. But now, the question is, how are we going to continue on without Jeremy Davis, a founding member of this band? Someone that I think Haley Williams, the lead singer, the front woman of this band, has been, uh, he, she, he's been a friend of hers for a very long time. They've been very close. They wrote songs together and they composed together. And this is a huge blow. That can, There's no way around that. There's no way to look at that from a totally positive perspective. Uh, Paramore said in a statement on their Facebook page that I can link for you guys down below. In fact, I'll probably link you to the full article about it. Um, basically, they're saying that this is, there's no really nice way to put this, but the fact is that Jeremy is no longer going to be in the band. They knew that the self-titled era was going to bring a lot of new things and a lot of new ideas, but it couldn't last forever. It's like a touring cycle. You're so hyped about it and you're so happy. You're loving the way the shows are going. And then, you know, you, you get to the end of it and you don't know exactly what to do next, what the next move is. And unfortunately for Jeremy, he's no longer going to be in the band. Now, I want to put this out there because this is my take on it, my two cents. Yes, I'm very upset in a way just because I love Paramore so much, especially as they've grown. It's just been so great to pick up records like the self-titled and see them put out something so, so solid and just having so much fun, it felt like, on an album and being around each other and just putting out 17 songs that just all just bled with someone and their musical renaissance almost. Uh, a lot of creativity flowing throughout the band. And Jeremy was a huge part of that, but I don't want to assume the worst. The Faro brothers departed on bad terms, that's clear, but there's no way that Jeremy Davis would have stuck around in this band if all of those rumors circulating about Haley Williams being a total diva was true. Would he have stuck it out for five more years? Absolutely not. I think that this move is something that has been very calculated. It's something that's probably been weighing on Jeremy since probably the middle of this touring cycle for the self-titled record, I would say. It's something that you don't know if you can do this. You're an adult now, you have responsibilities. I believe he might have a child. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not one to get all up in, uh, you know, band members' personal lives, but if that's something, you know, he does have responsibilities and he has a wife, I'm pretty sure, and he has things to tend to. And if music can't be in your life like it used to, it can't, it, it, if it cannot hold that huge place like it used to, you have to do something about it. You can't just keep walking the tightrope. You have to hop off on one side or the other before you fall to your death. And I'm so glad that he's letting us know now instead of you know, coming right before they announced a new album or something like that. Like, think Death Cab for Cutie and their record Kensuki. Right before that, their longtime guitarist Chris Walla announces, Hey, yeah, I wrote for this record, but, uh, you know, this is my last show with the band. I'm done. I'm not going to be touring on the Kensuki album cycle. And, you know, you know, we're going to have to find a new guitarist for Death Cab for Cutie. That's really depressing whenever you're trying to get excited for a record. So I'm glad that we know now. And I'm also glad that it didn't happen while they were touring for this because I caught this band live. Amazing. Jeremy was up there. Uh, he had injured himself somehow. I can't remember exactly what it was, but he had to sit out the majority of the so not sit out, but literally he was physically sitting down, showing how dedicated he was to the band by still being there, even though he probably shouldn't have been playing a show, yet he was still there rocking out, playing these songs. He stood up for a few of them and then had to sit down for a bunch. 
but it was just so incredible. Haley was so good. I had an amazing time at the show. Paramore just rocked the roof off of that place. And I think it made my love for them grow even a little bit more. And say what you will about Paramore, maybe they're not your cup of tea, but I think that they've done well as a band commercially and even for their fans. I don't think that there's anybody that said, wow, I was so disappointed with this new Paramore album, at least to people who have been into Paramore from the start. And I've seen them refine their sounds. I, I loved probably Brand New Eyes the most out of anything they've released, although the self-titled has always grown on me pretty much with each listen. I find a little something new to like about it. And Jeremy, like I said, being a huge part of that, it's a it's a loss, that's for sure. But I don't want to see the worst in this situation, and I hope you guys feel the same way. Cut Paramore a break during this tough time. Let them grieve. I'm sure Haley is very upset about this move, and I'm sure Taylor is as well, and the rest of the crew. So, uh, they're, I know they're going to make the right choice in replacing Jeremy, or maybe they'll just get some studio session members to write with. Um, I have a lot of confidence in Taylor York as well, because he has shown his songwriting chops, and he works well with Haley and Paramore have never disappointed me up to now. So why would I start doubting them? If they think that they can continue this thing, they're still going on on their Parahoy cruise, which I was thinking about attending, but right now I'm kind of glad that I didn't just because it would kind of almost be a depressing moment, especially before another album is out and that sort of thing. But I'm going to reserve judgment on everything for now. Let me know your thoughts on the whole situation. What is your take on Jeremy Davis splitting from Paramore? The now former bassist moving on to bigger and better things, possibly. Maybe, you know, more time with his family. Maybe he has something else on his plate. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I'm just going to say thank you for all the great music, Jeremy. And uh, my name is John. Thanks for watching. Hitting the like button on this video. I'll see you guys very soon right here on Beyond ARTV.